another great field of Ontario's finest. The SBOA stakes of 2004, three-year-old pacing fillies. And they're off. All eyes on in vitro. She's not clearly fastest away just yet. Double Creme is looking for the lead. Lucy's fame going with her. Apache Dame tucks over in there from third. Series Comfort is fourth. Double the fun. Then in vitro. Taken back on the outside. Third to last. Ahead of Bastet, Hanover, and Madeira Island. It's Lucy's fame. Lucy's fame put on the point quickly by Jody Jameson. And now they're going to funnel single file over at the quarter pole. Racing along in second is Double Creme. Two more lengths to Apache Dame in there from third. Fourth best away with serious comfort then double the fun. And in vitro left third to last. 27 and 3 at the opening marker. Lucy's fame. Loose on the lead at 40 to 1 or thereabouts after 3 eighths completion. Double creme has tracked out a two hole position. Apache Dame on the inside. Third in serious comfort starts the flow. First out from fourth. There's double the fun. Second over into the top five. And conservatively following is in vitro. Third over in sixth position. The last pair Madeira Island and Bastet at Hanover on the outside. Four are in, four on the outside, and the half was 57 and 1, 29 and 3 rating in the second quarter. Now three eighths of the mile to go for Lucy's fame. Double creme, the pocket sitter, serious comfort first over. On the inside, Apache Dame holds fourth, double the fun, second over into the top five. In vitro, about five lengths off the lead, but looking to roll wide now at the head of the stretch. Then Madeira Island and Bastet Hanover on the outside. They've passed three quarters in 120 five and one readying for the stretch of the second elimination 2004 SBOA Philly stakes and look at in vitro cruising up from third over on the outside at the grandstand side in between Phillies is serious comfort but in vitro McDonnell knew all along he had the very best one what a great year she's had in Ontario and another easy looking victory for in vitro uh, over double the fun serious comfort Lucy's fame and double creme in vitro 152 and 3 and never broke a sweat. Six in vitro returns to the Mohawk Winner Circle, winning the second elimination of the 2004 Standard Bread Breeders Ontario Association Stakes. Camlock, three-year-old brown filly from Keystone, Trinidad, a homebred of Murray Ross and Gord Irwin of Coburg and Norwood. Gord does the training. Paul McDonnell plays it third over this night and blasts off to victory her eighth and 13 this year. 152 and three in the 10th for in vitro. With thanks to Judy Andrews Hodges and all the members of, ex of the executive of the Standard Bread Breeders Ontario was Paul, uh, just talk about the, the time off, and uh, I guess you raised her accordingly tonight. Um, did she give you the type of effort you expected? Yeah, once again, she was uh, right on her game. It uh, doesn't seem to matter with her. If you give her a couple of weeks off, she rebounds. If you race her back to back to back, she's good. So, uh, you know, she's just a special filly, and she just does everything we ask of her. Any concerns tonight watching the race unfold and, uh, and knowing they were getting pretty soft fractions up front? Well, I was a little concerned, but uh, I know the turn of foot this filly has. She can just explode off cover, and, uh, you know, I just asked her, and she paced right, right by the three or four that were ahead of her, and then she just kind of waited until she got to the wire. Is it surprising to you when you, you look back on the season that she's really held her form all the way through and uh, has been able to sustain what she's done all season long? It is, it, you know, pretty remarkable. Uh, she's a filly, and she's not a very big filly. She's kind of small, so... Um, but she just uh, does it so easily that uh, there's no effort for her. So um, if uh, we can just keep her racing that way until uh, later on in November, uh, it'll be a nice year. Just talk about her effort in the Fan Hanover and uh, how you think she did stack up against the very best in North America. Well, I was really impressed with her. Um, you know, in the final, unfortunately, we did the 10 hole and uh, it was a muddy night. And she had a lot of traffic ahead of her, and uh, there was quite a few gaps, and she still closed pretty strong to be fourth. So um, I can't fault her. I'd like to try them again. Yeah, I was going to ask you uh, the final question. Is there any uh, talk still of possibly supplementing to the Breeders' Count down the road? Yeah, they're, uh, they're thinking about it. Um, you know, it's all going to depend on how she, what kind of form she's holding in October. But, uh, you know, I, I think that she deserves another chance at the American Phillies. All right, good luck with her next week. Thank you. Paul McDonnell and in vitro team up for yet another win against Ontario rivals here tonight in the second SBOA elimination. One more left to go tonight. Back upstairs to Frank Salive.